Gaming on Linux has improved a lot, both quality and quantity wise. Now you can find top games with amazing graphics, gameplay and story on Linux. First person shooters, massive multiplayer online battle arena games, zombie survival, indie, real time strategy and many more genres of games are natively available on Linux. And in today's video, we'll be having a look at the top 10 free games for Linux that you'll absolutely love. What's get up, this is Linux Techs, let's begin. Starting off, we have War Thunder on number 10. War Thunder is one of the best massively multiplayer online military games. In this game, you are put in control of war vehicles such as combat planes, naval vessels and armored vehicles. The game is set around the period of World War II. War Thunder has one of the most unique gameplay and it provides a very different war experience. There are over a thousand vehicles like aircrafts, attack helicopters, tanks and naval ships. When you start a match, the game forms a party consisting of all these and provides battle objectives. Then you coordinate with other players and destroy the enemy. The gameplay is adrenaline filled. You can find yourself blasting your enemies from a bomber turret, defending your teammates on the ground from an air raid with anti-aircraft guns, shooting down enemy planes with a firestorm from multiple rocket launchers, or trying to sink an enemy warship with a torpedo from a fast attack boat. The game is intense. The graphics and combat mechanics are very realistic. The game provides an immersive experience. It's hard to believe that this absolute gem is a free-to-play title. Grab it on Steam. Team Fortress 2 takes the number 9 spot on this list. Team Fortress 2 or TF2 for short is an amazing first-person shooter available on Steam for free. It is played by millions of people every day. It is highly rated both by critics and players. In TF2, you play as one among the 9 different character classes, each having his own style, attributes and weapons. There are different modes of the game like King of the Hill, Payload, Capture the Flag, Control Points and more. All totally fun to play. This game can be played with friends or solo. The matches are really intense and the game has a respawn mechanism which ensures that you are always on the edge. You can experiment with different classes and stick with one that resonates with you. For new TF2 players, the game can be ruthless in the beginning. It takes some time for you to get the hang of the game. But once you get comfortable with the game mechanics, this game is an amazing time killer. Number 8. Dota 2 Dota 2 is one of the highest played games on this planet. It's a MOBA game that is loved by millions of players. This game is played casually, competitively and professionally. Dota 2 is available on Steam for free. Talking about the game itself, Dota 2 has more than 100 heroes to choose from, each with its own unique abilities, style and a personality. Two teams of 5 heroes each fight to capture the opposite team's base. The gameplay takes interesting turns as the possibilities in the game are limitless. You can play the game in a wide range of styles. You can play solo or as a team player, support or head-on charge. The game features a realistic economic system which allows players to level up during the gameplay. This makes the game really interesting as the gameplay itself evolves through the duration of the game. This game is addictive as it provides its own world with balanced gameplay and a rewarding system. There is a learning curve involved for new players. Talking about the graphics, the world detailing is amazing and the fighting visuals highly engaging. This is definitely a must play game. I really enjoyed this game. And if you have friends to play with, Dota 2 will be ass of fun. Highly recommend it. 7th on the list is Counter Strike Global Offensive. Yes, Counter Strike Global Offensive is now free to play on Steam. CSGO needs no introduction. It is the FPS game. It is one of the highest played, highest critically acclaimed and a game that is loved by its player base. CSGO is a skill based game. You need to put in the hours to excel at it. But those hours are gonna be a lot of fun. There's a battle royale craze going around. So CSGO has a battle royale mode too. And it comes with interesting twists and a sweet gameplay. It's called the Danger Zone and it is rather short, comprising of 16 players. It is resource based and time critical. Typically, these matches last for 10 minutes, so there's an appeal for people looking to take a quick break and then get back to their work. Of course, the traditional gameplay is still there and that too is free to play now. LAN and multiplayer shooting was born, molded and evolved here. CSGO receives regular updates and is maintained in an excellent manner. The servers are good and the matchmaking process is quick since there are a lot of players online pretty much all the time. This game is an example of how a game should be maintained post sales, which is rather rare nowadays. Hundreds of games in a similar genre have come and gone, but CSGO still offers the best in class first person shooter experience. It is free on Steam and is available on Linux, Mac and Windows. Number 6. Xonautic 
If you love intense but casual shooting action and have a low powered computer, Xonautic is for you. One of my personal favorites, Xonautic is a very fast paced first person shooter that runs great on any computer. Xonautic has arena style battles, both solo and team. Variety of different game modes like Dominator, Free Stack, Capture the Flag and many more are available. The action is fast paced and matches typically last about 3 to 5 minutes and this duration can be extreme. The game features a number of futuristic and sophisticated guns. If you want to play a sniper, there's one shot kill gun for you. If you're not so subtle, there's a rocket launcher. A good machine gun and lot more weapons keep this game really interesting. There are a number of different arenas to fight and this keeps the game fresh for a long time. The graphics are really good. The game runs fluid smooth even on very old computers. You don't need much powerful hardware to run this game. There's an online mode but I recommend that you check out the offline ladder. Xonautic is the perfect thing for you if you are just looking for some casual gaming and don't want to spend your days and nights in a competitive game. The game can be downloaded for free through the official website, link in the description. Unturned No gaming list can be complete without a zombie game. While there are a lot of those available on Linux, Unturned is one of the best. Unturned is a game with simple graphics. So why does it get a spot on this list? It's the gameplay and the depth that this game has. The experience that this game provides is very involving and intense, despite the simple graphics. Although Unturned has many modes including a multiplayer, it's the solo normal mode that intrigued me the most. When you play it solo, you are alone in a vividly designed world with lots of things to do and lots of zombies to hunt. The game draws you in. You become focused on the game, focused on surviving and this solo gameplay has a distraction free aspect to it. The game worlds are vast and have a touch of realism to them. The zombies are affected by day and night cycles as well as the moon cycles. Survival is an important side of this game. You need to collect food, ammo, farm and craft to survive. The game keeps on evolving as you progress in the game and even after you are well established in the game, it can be quite challenging. If you are looking for a zombie survival game that is not just mindless killing, you will definitely love Unturned. Next, we have Zero AD. If you liked Age of Empires, then you will love Zero AD. And who didn't like Age of Empires? Zero AD is a free and open source real-time strategy game being developed by Wildfire Games. It's a historical war and economy game featuring a number of ancient civilizations. You start the game by picking one civilization to lead. There are either one or three more civilizations starting off with you in the game. You develop your civilization in terms of infrastructure, economy and military and face off with the remaining other civilizations, which also have been developing in the meantime. You get to make all the choices in the evolution of a civilization. Build forts, towers, barricades, create farms and fields, create more people and soldier units. When you expand your empire, your paths cross with other civilizations in the finite map. That's when you engage your forces and battle it out. The game takes interesting turns and it's really fun to play. Each match typically takes around 20-30 minutes and the gameplay has a depth to it. Playing Zero AD well is like meditating for me. The game is in active development and has an online multiplayer where you fight against other players online. The graphics are something that you'll absolutely love about the game. The worlds are immersive and lifelike. This makes you more invested in the game. The mechanics and the economy are really balanced with no loopholes. I've played Zero AD a lot and I guess it takes some getting used to as there's a lot of stuff to explore. I mean it's basically a virtual world. Zero AD, I highly recommend that you check this one out. It's available in the software store of your Linux distro for free. Third on the list is Fishing Planet. Fishing Planet is a realistic first person fishing simulator. If you want to play something relaxing, just lean back and engage in the game that just calms you, you should definitely check out Fishing Planet. The game has stunning graphics, where the waters look good and the gameplay itself is very minimal. You just sit there and catch some fish, while enjoying the view. The game does provide an in-depth fishing experience with a wide range of locations, a vast set of hooks, rods, bait and other fishing accessories. You can tune all the aspects of your fishing experience. You can move around the place and catch a wide variety of fish. The game has a simple tutorial that sets you up with the game fast and then it's just you and the fish. I found this game very relaxing. The waters look very real, hyper real to be exact. The fish are powered by some AI that makes their tackle and struggle feel real. Fishing Planet is a must have game on your Linux PC when you just want to have a relaxing evening. Do check it out on Steam. On number 2, Curvetron. Remember the snake game on the old Nokia phones? The snake game is back with a much more fun packed experience. 
So Curvetron is basically the snake game, but there's a twist. You just use any one button to change the direction of the snake. That's it. You just navigate the snake while it keeps moving. Simple, right? You will grasp this game in probably a minute. Then starts the real challenge. This game is really easy to get started with, but challenging to master. Before you know it, you'll be playing this game for hours. The game has an adventure mode where you progress in levels, a classic mode where you try to get as big as you can, a multiplayer mode where up to 8 people can play on the same computer. I can definitely see this game going to cause some rage quits. The game has really good background music tracks which get you into the game more and more. The title is free on Steam, do check it out. The number one spot is taken by Super Tux Kart. Super Tux Kart is one of the most fun games there is, especially if you have a brother, friend or someone you could play with. This game has a single player story mode as well as casual races, but this game is most enjoyable in a two player split screen mode. You basically have a vehicle that is capable of being equipped with various power ups like cupcakes which are the deadliest weapon in the game, chewing gums which you can use to slow down your opponents or use as protective bubbles, bowling balls to destroy and nitrous to speed up. And with these, you can either race, play deathmatch or rocket league style soccer. Trust me on this, this game is super fun. The game has hilarious characters and the Linux mascot Tux is the main hero of this game. Need more reasons to play? I mean the game has Tux in it. The game has similar gameplay to that of Mario Kart Tour. The game is free and very actively developed. The graphics are cartoony but still good. A wide range of race courses are available. This game has very recently released for Android 2. You can download Super Tux Kart through the software store. That concludes our list of best free games available on Linux. If you like this video and would like to see more of my Linux and Linux gaming related videos, do consider subscribing to my channel. Well that's it for today. This is Linux Techs, signing out.